traders. Happy Monday, the, 20th, the 15th of July. Julius de Campenaar here for a quick video update on the start of the week. Um, instead of going talk about sectors and you know the bigger picture, I want to zoom into uh, one particular industry, and that's semiconductors, semi and semiconductor um, stuff. And the reason is that that's obviously a group that is widely followed everybody's got a lot of interest in that and that is predominantly because of the behavior of nvidia as we've seen it over the last months years i don't know um i thought i'd take another approach here and obviously we're going to start with the rrg um if you would look at the um, if you would look at the industries in the technology sector you would find semis and semiconductor equipment in just inside the leading quadrant like coming out of weakening so it made a rotation leading weakening and then curling back up into the leading quadrant and it's on it's very high on the rs ratio scale not a surprise there because it is the strongest industry within technology and probably within the uh, entire S&P 500 or 1500. But that's not that's not the issue today. Um, what I've done here is I've loaded up all stocks inside that industry. So these are all semi and semiconductor equipment stocks inside the S&P 500. And obviously you see Nvidia right here, very high on the RS ratio scale. And as I said, it, you know, it's basically driving that group going from leading through weakening and now back into leading. The problem is that when you look at the chart of NVIDIA, you will find one massive rally basically starting at the, in the beginning of 2023. And here you see it going from 20 to 130. That's after split, of course. Um, one big move higher, RS ratio well above 100 all the time with one little setback um, here in January 2024. And now a little setback and we're, we're starting to, you know, to crawl back up again. Um, do you really want to chase this or are you someone who's interested to find or to look if there are other options within the same group who could piggyback on the success and the performance of NVIDIA and, and the group as a whole. So when we go to, to that RRG and we look at all these tails, then obviously these are all, these are all pretty much all strong stocks. You know, this is compared to the S&P 500 and you can see how a side of MCHP Pretty much all these tails are either inside leading or pointing in the right direction, led by NVIDIA. But if you want to be a little bit more adventurous and you want to go, um, well, maybe think out of the box, take a look at Intel. INTC is inside the lagging quadrant, but it's starting to pick up. It's at a super low RS ratio reading. And the reason is because it's been such an underperformer over the last years two years and if you want to look at the chart here you can see i mean we saw nvidia moving higher and you can see how intel did well it didn't absolutely not it rose a little bit but you know then came crashing down again and we're at levels going back to 2014 2015 with a little, little hiccup here but all in all intel did not do a lot of good to your portfolio. The fact that we have it now inside lagging and picking back up and look how the speed is picking up, how the no the distance between the node is picking up. And then you see with Nvidia that the nodes are slowing down. I am interested in a stock like Intel, um, just because it's, it's a very aggressive thing because you're, it's the lowest reading which makes it the weakest stock in the uh, in the group, but it's picking up relative momentum and it's picking up relative momentum very fast um, and almost pushing it into the improving quadrant. Now, I've told you a million times that even when that happens, there's a pretty big risk that 
you will see this these tails you know roll over before they hit the leading quadrant so you please be aware of that but when i look at the stock of intel the price chart of intel i can see here that after this big drop you can see a consolidation of a couple of months and then last week we broke out out of this base formation especially when we took out that overhead resistance around 3250 and there is now quite a bit of upside potential like i was going to say all the way to 4041 so that's a decent trade it's a decent trading opportunity and it might be the start of something bigger but you know you never know but given the strength of the semi and semiconductor group overall led by nvidia i'm you know, tempted to look at a little bit more adventurous stuff. And Intel seems to be one of those options. If you're not as adventurous, don't want to be as adventurous, then I was going to say that LRC LRCX and, and uh, Apply Materials are other good options because they also rotated from weakening, Oh, sorry, from leading into weakening and now curling back up and they're now at a positive heading and almost hitting the leading quadrant again. So if you're a little bit less adventurous and not interested in INTC, please take a look at all our LRCX and, uh, and AMAT. Let's do the price chart here, LRCX. And you will see the difference. This is an already established uptrend and we're you know, picking up a new up lag in the already established uptrend. That's what we're doing here. You saw that here and you're seeing it again. So this is a uh, way more reliable proposition, but it's got a lot more performance history. Uh, and the other one was uh, applied material. So that's AMAT. Same story. You know, you, you're embarking on a new up lag in an already established relative uptrend. Um, so pretty big difference between those uh, those stocks. They're all in the same group. They're all in the strongest group in, uh, in the S&P 500, that's semis and semiconductor equipment. But look at the base that Intel made. And Intel is, you know, let's be honest, uh, uh, one of these very big names uh, of the past, maybe I should say, because uh, it didn't do much, but that might be changing. By the way, we did discuss all of this in the SIS report that we did last week here at tradinganalysis.com. Um, so if you're interested in those um, in those calls, in those views, you know, you know what to do. Uh, and I hope to see you this Wednesday when we do a new sector industry and stock report. And otherwise, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Same time, same place next week. Hi, it's Todd from TradingAnalysis.com. Thanks so much for watching. Listen, my team and I have uh, so much to share with you in terms of our technical analysis or fundamental analysis, uh, portfolio management tactics, trading in and out, maybe options, sector rotation. Let us know what's most interesting to you. Uh, maybe uh, drop that in the comments section and we'll do our best to work it in. Also, uh, consider clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we put out new videos. And finally, you can check us out at tradinganalysis.com if you'd like to see us manage our real portfolios in real time. Thanks again for watching.